Just a few short years ago, diabetes was declared an epidemic in this country. It's impacted Tom Carl's loved ones. I do not have it, but I do know many people that do. So I know it's uh, very mainstream. Safe to say most people have an awareness of the disease, but few grasp its potential. The American Diabetes Association estimates one in three Americans will have it by 2050. There's 86 million people in this country with pre-diabetes alone. Fueled by rapid increases in type 2 diabetes, brought on by lifestyle, people weighing too much and exercising too little. As bad as it is, things could get worse. Doctors are now treating patients with what's being called type 3 diabetes. So what happens is they have type 2 diabetes, which is insulin resistance, but then the pancreas just wears out. So now they don't make any insulin, so they develop type 1 diabetes and type 2. And so now we call that type 3. This double whammy is harder to control. Doctors keep upping insulin dosages to try to manage it. The stakes are high as they learn about the implications and additional health risks linked to this heightened type of diabetes. Diabetes can even cause vascular disease in the brain and, and, and contribute to memory loss, dementia. Strong evidence links this advanced diabetes to Alzheimer's disease, the long-term effect of low insulin allowing plaque to form in the brain. The threat is prompting doctors to redouble their diabetes efforts. Just because you're put on a medicine, you feel like, okay, I'll just keep increasing and keep increasing my medicine. The damage is still happening. It's a cautionary tale, according to Tom. More people have to uh, understand the symptoms and uh, the consequences. Beyond retyping diabetes, experts hope to be reshaping the conversation. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.